Hey everyone, it's Alexis. I hope you are all doing well. I know we are preparing for the fall winter holidays, but when we come out with chapter four, because it kind of runs into the end of December into January before we, we release chapter one, we kind of have to hit some of the new holidays that go into the new year. And one of those would be Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or just general romance as it is, I guess. <laughs> so I'm actually going to show you this heart pocket today that came out in our chapter four release. It's a big sty by Kath Breen. I'm going to show you how to assemble it. And I'm also going to show you two different makes that I did that show it both as like an everyday kind of thing that you can use it for and also something for Valentine's Day, which I know is very early days, but really this is just an assembly video, but I think we can all agree that hearts are a pretty year round thing. And no matter whether you're celebrating Valentine's Day or you're just celebrating someone special in your life, I think hearts can be work can work with you in those areas. So I'm gonna switch to my overhead camera and I'm gonna show you how to put this heart pocket together. Okay. So I am going to be showing you today how to put together this big sty by Kath Breen. It's called the Heart Pocket and it is 665492. Um, it is a big sty, which means that you can actually cut it from a variety of surfaces. Now I do wanna point out that there are crease lines in this, so it will probably limit the types of surfaces you can actually cut with this one, but I really don't see why you couldn't cut it out of felt and fabric and sew them together. Um, you definitely can use cardstock and um, probably texture roll with these as well. So I haven't tried the texture roll, but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to use that um, to put it together. So because I wanted to create something that is really fun and accessible to you all, I wanted to show you how to put it together with cardstock today. I, these are very quick and easy, and I think they would make the perfect little Valentines for your kids' classrooms or to add to a card, to give to a friend. Um, so definitely want to show you how to put it together with cardstock because I think that's the easiest and the fastest way to put it together. But also it's perfect because you can just slip a little chocolate heart in there or another treat, or you could put in a movie ticket or a gift card or something like that um, and put a little gift in there. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to actually assemble it. So I've just cut a piece of our cherry blossom cardstock. Now, when you are cutting with the big sty, you want to cut with the, if you have a texture or a pattern on your paper, you want to have that face down towards the blade. That way it will cut um, in the direction that you want it to be. So I'm just gonna bring in my Big Shot machine real quick. And when you're cutting a big sty, the sandwich that you need is basically just two cutting pads. So you're gonna put one cutting pad down and then your die and then another cutting pad on top of that. And you just have to run it through one time. And what's nice about this heart pocket is it cuts all of the pieces that you need to make it one of them in one fell swoop. So you can just cut it one time and you have all the pieces you need to actually make your heart pocket. I love because sometimes you have to cut things multiple times. So if you're making a bunch of these, um, then it's really nice. You can actually, because it's got the crease lines and if you are using paper, you're only going to want to cut one at a time. Otherwise you won't get your crease lines. Um, with other big styles, the nice part about it is that you can cut multiple layers at one um, time. So you could cut you know, five or six sheets of cardstock. You could cut a couple layers of fabric or felt, but because this has crease lines that you're gonna fold on, you really only wanna cut one at a time. So what I'm gonna do first is you get these three pieces. So you've got this piece, which is basically your backing piece. Then you've got this, which creates the pocket. And then you've got this triangle piece, which essentially creates the flap on the front. So what I like to do is fold all of my creases or crease lines first, just so that I know what I'm working with. So I'm gonna start um, by folding them all essentially the same direction. So there is two tabs one on either side, so I'm gonna fold those. And you'll notice I'm just doing it slowly. I, I slowly bend along that crease line to get it to go so I don't get any um, extra bends that I don't want. And then once I get that going, so I've done the two flaps, 
done these two pieces. There's also another flap right here. They're just going to fold on. And then there's these two angled flaps. So you're just going to fold along all those lines and then I'll show you how to put it together. I like to use liquid adhesive when I am putting together three dimensional things. I know it can get a little messy, but I just find I get for me personally, um, adhesive is a personal preference for sure. But for me personally, I like my 3D objects to really stay together. And I just find with liquid adhesive that that's way easier than with a double-sided tape or a glue gun or anything like that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to flip this over so that your texture or your pattern is facing down because what is initially going to happen is this is going to fold in and this will become the front part of your pocket. So if you want this, you want your texture to be the front, then you want it to face down. Then you're going to take your backing piece and you're going to have your texture or your pattern facing up. And there's these three tabs and you're going to put, I'm going to put some of our express glue along the three tabs. Um, and basically you're just going to lay this piece, line it up so that the tabs all sit perfectly behind that piece. It's kind of like a half heart almost. So you'll see how they, they fit perfectly on there. Then you're going to take, well, that's kind of sitting together. Um, then I'm going to gently fold along the crease line that is on my flap. I picked a really light cardstock, so I was having a hard time seeing the line. <laughs> it's easier sometimes to see the crease lines when you have a darker cardstock. Um, so I just folded that along there and I'm going to glue it this way. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take, I want my texture side to show or my pattern side. So I'm going to glue it backwards essentially. Um, so I'm going to put glue on the smooth side and I'm going to adhere it to the inside of the pocket or what will be the inside of the pocket. So I'm just lining it up along the front best I can. I'm kind of at an angle. <laughs> and then that way, when I flip it over, did I do that right? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> I had a, had a moment there where I didn't think I put it on the right direction, but I did. So then when you're done, you're going to fold this in half and you really want to firmly press um, those crease lines. Then you're going to fold in along one of the side panels, fold it inwards towards the center, and you're just going to add adhesive here as well, and just hold that into place. The only thing with liquid adhesive, it does take a minute to kind of hold everything in, but I just find it has the better staying power. So while that's kind of doing that, I'm gonna start folding in the other side and really pushing down on those crease lines. And then you're just going to add adhesive to this side as well. And I love our express glue because it, um, it glues so quickly and dries so quickly. So it makes it a really fast process. And then the last thing you're going to do is just add some adhesive to the flap and bring the flap down over the top. Now you can pick different colors and because I, you can see this obviously I did in one color, but I did these in monochromatic colors. Um, so you, I cut the same piece twice and then I just switched out the two pockets on each one so that I could give them a little bit of a different color. And then you can just open it up a bit and you've got your little pocket. So these are perfect for adding little sweet treats in. I can see like little dove hearts going in here for holidays. Um, you could also put um, some little other little candies in there, but I love the heart pocket and all of the different ways it can be used. I did want to show you one way you could use it for Valentine's Day. Um, so this is a card I made using those that kind of that same color palette. 
but I have also used some of our ivory opulent cardstock in the background right here just to add a little bling. And then I've pulled in our floral geo frame, um, the floral geo heart frame, which is by Lisa Jones. And that is also in chapter four. It's uh, 665478 if you're interested. And basically what I did is I just cut out the actual frame and put it around the heart. So I made my little heart pocket, put the frame around it, cut some foliage, put it behind. Um, I put some foam tape behind this so that I could give it a little bit of dimension and make it pop off the front of the card. And then to get that February 14th, I used our gold embossing um, powder, but I also used our stamp set that is in chapter four and it's called journal stamps. And journal stamps is fantastic because it comes with all the months. It comes with this little bar where then you can stamp the month on there, which is what I did. I stamped this in black and then I went over it with clear embossing ink and stamped on the month. And then I have the numbers, the days of the week, it comes with this little note area. So you can really customize this out, use it on small projects or use it for your journals or your scratch book pages but another great um, little feature in our chapter four release that you can make for Valentine's cards so that's one idea and the other was I wanted to show you how you could use it kind of all year round so I did this one um, and notice how these are both empty because I cannot have chocolate in my house otherwise I will eat it all so just imagine <laughs> that there's chocolate in here or some kind of sweet treat that you can kind of put into these little pockets um, my mom always loves to give us um, gift cards and stuff to the movies because we're a big movie family so she might stick like a, a ticket in there to the movies um, but for Mother's Day, you can also kind of change it up. So what I did with this one is I used another die set from chapter four. This one's called Layered Labels by Jess Scott. It's 665482. And this one is exactly what it sounds like, layered labels. So you get these really nice decorative label shapes. Um, so I used the largest one and cut out the rose gold opulent uh, glitter cardstock. And I put that as my background, put my white heart, because I cut my heart from white cardstock, and put that down. And then I cut out the smallest label shape right here, and I used our stylized alphabet, which is also part of chapter four. And this one is 665. 488 and this is by Lisa Jones. This is a great alphabet because you can customize as you can see I put mom on here You can put mom you can put somebody's name if you wanted to go a little bit bigger um, You can use a stamp over the top if you wanted to um, The stylized alphabet's really nice. It's a great size for Putting names and things on cards and then I just took the florals from the layered labels so you can see I've got all these different little florals used our paper sculpting tools on them to give them a little bit of dimension and just added some nice little pops of color. So I can give this to my mom for Mother's Day or her birthday. Um, I could put my friend's name on here and do a little something for a friend on their birthday, but these aren't just for, um, for Valentine's Day. You really can use them year round and make someone very happy in your day-to-day -day life. So that is how you put together our, um, our heart pocket. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little assembly guide on how to put together the heart pocket. You can use it year round, which I love, um, whether it's for wedding or birthday or Mother's Day or Valentine's Day. Hearts are really a nice icon that you can use all year round. If you are interested in getting any of the product that I featured today, you can actually get a discount using my code Alexis20, A-L-E-X-I-S 20 on our website. It'll give you um, a 20% discount on any of the items I featured today. And if you are going to be using the heart pocket to make anything, please make sure to tag us using the hashtag my making story across our platforms like Instagram and Facebook so we can share what you're making. And if you are curious about anything or have questions about anything that I featured in this today, please just leave us a comment in the comment section and we'll be sure to get back to you. I read all of your guys' comments, and we do our very best to get back to everybody as quickly as we can, but I definitely read everything, so I always love to see what you guys have to say, so please be sure to drop us a little love today, um, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. So take care of yourselves, and until next time, have fun crafting.